Hello everyone, it's Dr. Georgie Huffman Jr. and welcome to episode number 23 of Arkham Asylum Patient Files. Today's patient is Otis Flanagan, also known as the Rat Catcher. Before we begin, I have to share some bad news. Warren Sharp and Dr. Arkham have died. Their bodies were found in, in the basement of the asylum earlier today. Warren Sharp had been murdered. Apparently it was from a gunshot wound to the back of his head, which have to, the authorities revealed to come from a sniper rifle. As for Director Arkham, well, he was hung. And we don't know whether he, he did that himself or he, someone else did it. We don't know. We'll assess it tomorrow. And uh, the mayor, Mr. Michael Grange, and his lovely wife, Marion, as well as the two former mayors, Armand Kroll, Ms. Mayor, Mayor Grange's predecessor, and, Ma and Hamilton Hill, former Mayor Kroll's predecessor, supported that I become the new Warren Director in their places. And I accepted. And um, now I'm going to have my hands full to keep all these lunatics in here. But enough about that. It's time to get into Flanagan's story. <clears throat> Flanagan was once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, exterminating rats for a living. However, one time he was uh, convicted and, and got a 10-year prison sentence because he apparently he killed someone in a brawl. After his 10-year prison sentence was served, he put on his rat catcher outfit, the dark drab green colors of his work outfit, and put on some weird World War One custom gas mask, and had like this stick with like a chain of a lantern on it, and had like this special whistle to control rats. And he became the rat catcher, and he he captured the four men involved in his conviction. The judge that sentenced him, the arresting officer, and the two civilians. I reported to the cops. And I'm down in a sewer for about a year. Give or take. However, they were let free by the by the intervention of Batman. And Flanagan was sent here to Arkham. The reason why the villains don't get a trial when after what all the crimes they did is because the government has deemed them insane because would you really think that some grown up would put on a green business suit and bowler hat and have like this cane that shoots electricity and knock and purple knockout gas would and leaves riddles all over the place would that be in, insane and uh, many people want Batman to go to Arkham because he's a grown up dressed as a bat who uses sci-fi gadgets and kung fu to to fight criminals that's a little insane yeah, anyways, Flanagan has done several other acts in the past, like, like, one time he tried using various diseases in Gotham's river, and, uh, that would kill off everyone in Gotham and let the rats take over, which is ironic since he was once a rat catcher himself, and he killed rats for a living, and now he wants to make up for all that rat blood on his hands. And, um... A couple other times was when Batman, Selena, Selena Kyle, okay, Calman, and Reese Black, also known as Catman, ended up in his lair where um, he was about to enact his rat supremacist plan. And um, they managed to defeat him and send him back to Arkham. And, um, yeah. So there you have it. That's the story of Ois Flanagan, also known as the Rat Catcher. Next up, I'm probably going to do James Jesse, also known as the Trickster. So stay tuned for that. And as always, remember y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.